on one cassette. Fucking knots and crosses. <laughs> Fucking pontoon. Right, uh. Well, the, the next one downhill ski jump. Now, I'm going to say something here which is very relative. This is the best game on cassette 50. Um, I mean, you have, or well, you actually have a demo mode here. There's actually sprites in the game. There's audio. I don't think, yeah, I cannot fucking exit the uh, demo mode, which is fucking annoying. How the fuck do I get out of the demo mode? Not by pressing break. Oh, here we go. Let's try this again. It looks like it's completely fucked up. There we go. I mean, it's about as musical as a fucking fly farting in a fucking megaphone, but nevertheless there's music, so let's get a game underway. So, here we are. I don't know why it's called downhill ski jump, because there are, there's no jumping at all, you just gotta get through the level. The only controls are left and right. But I mean, in terms of graphics and playability, it's certainly better than fucking Bionic Granny, which is a game that costs two quid on its own. This is fucking, well, on its own, 2p. So now we've got to go through this fucking, uh, this is probably the most difficult part, or one of the most difficult parts of the game. The game actually is quite challenging, it's not easy. Largely because your character moves at a fucking awkwardly slow rate, and the controls are so fucking unresponsive. But nevertheless, I mean, it, it is better than Bionic Granny, and it's better than the A-Team. Um, I don't think for one moment I'm saying this is a good game. Uh, it's just that, uh, yeah, there is worse out there. I mean, you know, are you really going to say Bionic Granny is a good game and therefore this is doing really well to be better than that? Fuck off, are ya? I think that's game over. I think we can safely say that, as far as music goes, it's certainly not this title's strong point. So anyway, right, I'll have one more go. So yeah, graphically it's shit, but I mean, it's not as shit as, uh, well, anything else on the uh, Cassette 50. Graphically, it's by far the best on cassette 50. But like I say, that is a fucking relative expression. Uh, audio is probably the best on cassette 50. That's despite its fucking abysmal music. Um, and gameplay. How the fuck am I supposed to get to that? And gameplay, it, it's probably the most playable game on cassette 50 which again it really is not saying a lot oh, fuck off back in the day uh, I used to be able to get to about level 5 yes I did actually used to play this enough to actually you know progress Certainly not going to be doing uh, that today. Because it doesn't really help that the positioning of each of the obstacles is totally fucking random. So you've got no idea if you're going to get, 
you know, be able to get through a level because, well, you don't know where the fucking obstacles are going to appear. Ah, oh, you cunt. I think that's game over, innit? So I just got the level 4. That will fucking do. So on the shitometer, I mean, it's still going to get something on the shitometer, but I'll give it 1 basically through association the fact that it's actually on cassette 50 is bad enough so uh yeah one point in on the shitometer that does not by any stretch of imagination that mean it's a good game but it is by a distance the best game on cassette 50. that's a pretty good summing up uh right what the fuck is next <laughs>